Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. If you love your Fire Stick but you've experienced frustrating issues with buffering, I've got some hints and tips to share with you in this video that will help fix and resolve this annoying issue. So when you're ready, let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. There are many reasons why your Fire Stick could be experiencing buffering issues. Let's run through some of the most common issues step by step and check out tips to resolve them. If one of these tips does not resolve your issue, move on to the next step until your buffering issues are fixed. One of the first and simplest solutions to try if you're having buffering issues is to reboot your Fire Stick. Disconnect it from the power Unplug it from your TV, wait 10 seconds and plug it back in. Just like rebooting your Fire Stick can help resolve buffering issues, rebooting your router can also help. As with any other electronic devices, most crashes, bugs or issues can be fixed with a simple reboot. Unplug your router from the power supply Wait 10 seconds and plug it back in. This really can make a big difference. If rebooting your router doesn't help your buffering issues, think about where your router is located. It could be too far away from your Fire Stick or there may be obstacles in the way that are reducing your signal strength or blocking it. For some handy hints and tips on the best location for your router, check out my video in the link above me or in the description down below. Once you've given your Fire Stick and router a reboot, if you're still having buffering issues, it could be an issue with your internet speed. To stream videos online, the minimum bandwidth required to stream without buffering every few minutes is slightly different for each streaming service because they all compress data in different ways. Generally speaking, you need consistent speeds of around 10 megabits per second to stream in full HD and around 25 megabits per second to stream in 4K. And that is roughly needed per device. If you have two Fire Sticks in your home, both streaming videos in 4K, your internet speed will need to be around 50 megabits per second for uninterrupted streaming on both devices. Run a speed test on your Fire Stick and check how many devices are connected to your internet and what they are doing. To run a speed test on your Fire Stick, open a web browser. I prefer to use the Downloader app for this, but you can also use the Silk browser or any other web browser on your Fire Stick. Go to fast.com to start running a speed test. If you're not getting the speeds you were expecting or near to what you are paying your ISP for, there are a few things to consider that may help to improve your speed. If you are connected via Wi-Fi, first check your signal strength. You can do this by going to Settings, Network, highlight your Wi-Fi and press the play pause button on your remote. Any Wi-Fi issues such as poor signal will be detected and shown here. If you do have a poor Wi-Fi connection, you could get a better speed if you connect your Fire Stick via Ethernet with an Ethernet adapter like this one from Amazon. You can find links to the Ethernet adapter in the description below. It's easy to set up by connecting the Amazon Ethernet adapter to the micro USB port on your Fire Stick. Plug in an Ethernet cable directly from your router into the Ethernet adapter and connect the Fire Stick, power supply 
to the micro USB port on the Ethernet adapter. The Amazon Ethernet adapter can support speeds up to 100 megabits per second, which is more than adequate for buffer-free streaming. The Fire Stick, although a fantastic streaming device, has a few flaws. Apps do not fully close down after you exit them, and Fire Sticks do not come with a lot of storage space. If you have many apps open in the background, this can cause issues. Install a maintenance tool such as DefSquid that will help you to free up space on your Fire Stick and show you which applications are running in the background. If you'd like to find out more on DefSquid, check out my tutorial showing in the link above me or in the description below. All applications create cache, which takes up space. Now whilst cache is a good thing, it does help apps load faster. If the cache gets too big, this can cause buffering as storage space gets smaller and smaller. On the Fire Stick, there is no utility or tool to automatically clean the cache for all apps. Cache can only be cleared for each app individually. If you're having buffering issues watching YouTube, for example, and you want to clear the cache, go into Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications, Find YouTube and choose the Clear Cache option. Don't choose Clear Data as this will delete all of your personal information such as login details and playlists. Check if there are any software updates for your Fire Stick that need installing. Most software updates will automatically download and install when you restart your Fire Stick, but if you don't do this very often, you can check for updates manually. Go to Settings, My Fire TV, About, and at the bottom you will see check for updates or install update if an update has not yet installed. Click here to check for or install any updates. Don't overload your device with too many apps. If your Fire Stick is low on storage, this can degrade experiences such as video streaming. Your Fire Stick will run and stream much more smoothly if you keep around 500 megabytes of storage space free. To check how much free storage space you have, go into the settings, My Fire TV, About, and choose Storage. Your available space is shown on the right hand side of the screen. If you need to free up space, delete any apps that you don't need or use anymore. Review your installed apps by going to Settings, Applications, Manage installed applications, and go through the list and if you see an app that you want to uninstall, select it and choose Uninstall. If you are using a VPN, it could be giving you slower speeds. Check your speed without your VPN connected and then connect your VPN and test your speed again. If you are getting slower speeds with your VPN, there are a few tweaks you can make within your VPN settings to try and speed things up. Check out my video showing in the link above me or in the description below. Whilst I use IPVanish in this video as an example, these settings apply to most other VPNs too. You should also try and connect to whichever server is located as close as possible to your real location for better VPN speeds. If you are using a free VPN, upgrading to a paid VPN will give you better speeds. Check out the links in the pinned comment and description down below for my recommendations and a great deal on a new VPN. I hope that the hints and tips in this video has helped to resolve your buffering issues. Let me know in the comments section down below which tip has helped you and if you've got any other tips that you'd like to share. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.
These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.